so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can model this grocery bucket using the blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and before starting the tutorial guys i just want to tell you if you want to do practice on this project file so you can download this project file from the description that will be free for you guys and if you found this project file and this tutorial helpful for you guys so make sure you hit the like button because whenever you guys are doing like it's become a motivation for me and if you guys are love to do uh, watching this blender tutorial so make sure you hit the subscribe button as well so now start the tutorial so first of all i'm just going to delete everything pressing the a and then i'm just going to set this 3d cursor as a word horizon and then i will add one cube here something like that and then i'm just going to scale this cube a little bit something like that okay and after that if you want to do a little bit this one it's okay and after that i'm just going to apply the scale and then go to the edit mode of this uh, cube and pressing the three for the face mode and going to delete the top face and after that i'm just going to the left view and then i will select my x-ray mode and uh, going to select the bottom vertices and do a little bit scale something like that and now you can keep those uh, vertices a little bit upside as well yeah i think that's fine okay so after that i'm just going to add some edge loop here so first of all i'm just going to edge loop here as well and one edge loop is here okay so then i'm just going to add the one modifier it's called a solidify modifier so it's basically add the thickness in your model and from the thickness section you can increase the thickness so i think eight thickness is fine to me but right now here you can see guys that uh, boundary part is not looking uh, fine there are so many activation here so how you can fix this problem so for that you have to change this mode simple to complex and when you change the complex so here you will see the boundary section and right now it boundary section is none so you have to just change none to flat and when you did so here you can see our boundaries become a flat and now our uh, grocery shape is looking nice okay and after that I'm just going to uh, bevel those edges basically side edges just going to select the all edges and then I'm just going to do bevel pressing the control B and then I'm just going to increase the number of cuts from the scroll button of my mouse yeah I think that's fine and then you can apply the shared smooth pressing the right click and when you did shared smooth it will look like something like that so you don't need to worry about it you have to just go to the object data property uh, so here you will see the normals and under the normal section you will find the auto smooth you have to just click on it here and you will fix this problem and now our uh, grocery shape is looking more smooth then i'm just going to make one cube shape because uh, it will have to create a boolean in our object so how it works basically i'm just going to show you first of all i'm just going to hide this grocery for a while then i will add one cube here and I'm just going to scale it little bit something like that okay and something as well yeah that's fine and then you have to just apply this scale first of all then you have to go to the edit mode of this cube and going to select the all edges so after that I will do bevel pressing the control B something like that yeah I think that's fine and make sure you apply the shade smooth as well here and auto smooth as well after that I'm just going to unite this basket so here you can see now I'm just going to rotate this uh, 90 degree something like that and then I will go to the, my left view and uh, keep this outside and I think we need to scale this little bit yeah that's fine so now I'm just going to my left view and now I'm just going to adjust this one to according to this uh, basket shape okay so I'm just going to do very quickly so here you can see guys we have adjusted the all cubes so now I'm just going to do boolean so for doing the boolean I will use the default add-on of uh, blender it's called bool tool so if you want to do enable this add-on you have to just go to the edit preference and from the here you have to just search the bool and you will see the bool tool you have just enable from the here and after that you will press the n on your keyboard on the edit section you will see the bool tool 
okay so how you can use this so for using the bool tool you have to select the all cube first then you have to select your basket but make sure you take a duplicate one of those cubes okay because we will also do the boolean this side as well so we need it that's why i'm turning to you okay and after that i'm just going to select the all cube something like that and then i'm just going to select my basket and then i will press the different and when i press the different so here you can see guys we have a perfect boolean here okay and the good thing is that guys if you want to do edit of your boolean so you can edit from the here as well if you want to do a little bit inside so here you can see we can do edit and if you want to do scale you can scale from the here everything you can do in your boolean so it's called basically a non disturbing boolean okay so now i'm just going to the top view and just uh, disable this solidify modifier for a while and just going to delete the other side of vertices and going to delete it and then i will add one modifier it's called mirror modifier and yeah that's fine okay and after that i'm just going to enable the solidify modifier so here you can see now we have a boolean of both side of this basket and it's look cool okay so then i will do the uh, this side as well so for that i'm just going to rotate this one to the 90 degree first of all and after that i'm just going to the front view and keep it in the middle of this basket then i'm just going to duplicate one more time here okay and we can see in the wireframe where is the the center line of the mirror yeah this is the center line of the mirror so now i'm just going to rotate it little bit something like that yeah so that's fine and then i'm just going to keep it inside something like that and then i'm just going to duplicate to for the other side as well yeah then i will do same thing i will select the both cube first of all then i will select my boolean object and then i will click the different so when i click the different here you can see it not apply the uh, mirror side so what we have to do for that i'm just going to delete first of all this mirror modifier and going to add one more this mirror modifier and now here you can see we have a perfect uh, boolean shape so our basic uh, basket shape is ready okay so now i'm just going to make a handle so for making the handle i'm just going to the left view so then i'm just going to add the one cube here i'm just going to scale this cube upside and then i'm just going to edit mode of this cube and adding the one as loop here and then one as loop here and then i'm just going to enable my x-ray mode and delete this bottom vertices and after that i will select this middle of this edge and going to bevel it and something like that and then i will press the three for the face mode then i will do the invert selection pressing the control i and then i will do delete so here you can see now we have a handle shape here now we can move it little bit here and if you want to do stretch from the here so you can do as well okay and uh, i think we need to scale little bit yeah that's fine okay so after that i will add the uh, i think i need to scale it yeah so after that i'm just going to add the solidify modifier as well on it and just i will do the and the thickness from the outer side okay and then i'm just going to select the those corner edges and then i will do bevel pressing the control b and i'm just going to increase the number of cuts from the scroll button yeah i think that's fine okay and now you can add the shade smooth here as well and uh, auto smooth as well so here you can see our handle is also ready so now i'm just going to uh, make this uh, screw so how we can make this screw so for making this screw i'm just going to left view and adding one cylinder here and i will change this cylinder align as a view so it will face uh, like this and then i'm just going to scale it 
and keep it upside okay then I will keep it here something like that okay and then I'm just going to select the, this edge and then I will do control B for bevel and decrease the number of cuts yeah something like that and then I will go to the left view and select the vertices I will select this vertices and this vertices then I will press the J for join the edges yeah something like that and same thing I will do the hair as well select I think this one okay and after that I will uh, select the middle of this shape and then I will do extrude inside and here you can see now we have a perfect shape of the screw okay then we can do shade smooth and auto smooth as well and now I will add the mirror modifier on it so first of all I'm just going to change this origin as a 3d cursor yeah from the here and I will add the mirror modifier and I will change the axis to Z yeah that's it so here you can see guys our basket is ready and now I'm just going to add the shader on it and I think I should uh, keep those uh, as it little bit up yeah that's fine so now I'm just going to add the shader on it which is I have already created then I will go to the material section and then I will add one plastic material and with the project file you will get all those uh, material as well so don't worry about it and now I'm just going to select the inside of that part and then I will add one new material here it's called uh, plastic torch yeah something like that and I will add the same material here as well yeah and for this screw I will use the uh, gray plastic material which is I have already made okay this one so now here you can see guys now our plastic bucket is uh, ready and now you can fill this bucket with the lots of things and you can add the light on your scene and take the render and when you take the render you will found uh, something like this okay and that's how you can make this grocery basket using the blender and uh, you can also download this project file from the description so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel so if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys